So have you ever wondered how the sound from one set of headphones or earphones can suit everyone? Some people love bass, others enjoy high frequency details and the energy of simple crashes, while others find this fatiguing and irritating. Well here's the thing, every audio device is a compromise, but with a little knowledge you can create a custom sound signature that suits you, your mood, the particular music you're listening to. So what can you do? Does it actually make a noticeable difference? Or do you really only ever get the sound quality that you pay for? Well, you can see and hear for yourself right now. Welcome to GI Channel. So there are three things I want to talk about. Frequency equalization, earphone tips, and sound path modifications. Now many devices and music players have some kind of equalization that allows you to boost or lower certain frequencies. Some have simple presets like rock or classical. However, Samsung phone users can enjoy a very sophisticated equalizer built straight in called Adapt Sound, which is in settings under sound quality and effects. This plays you certain frequencies and depending on whether you can hear them, which depends on both the fidelity of your headphones or earphones and your hearing, alters the relative volume of those frequencies. Here I'm running through the process for a few headphones. You can see that some are much more skewed than others, which I suspect reflects more on the headphones rather than my hearing since the profiles for my reference headphones, including HD600, Civica Phoenix and Etymotic MK5, measure fairly flat other than in the bass region where they have well documented limitations. The light blue shows the volume heard at the frequency and the dark blue the boost added by the equalizer to bring the overall response to as flat a level as possible. Here you get an idea of the effect of the HD600 left channel equalization. On. Oh. Now non-Samsung users typically have a choice of limited preset equalization, which are in the music settings of Apple devices for example, or there are apps like the free equalizer FX or paid for boom. Moving on to earphone tips, this is something so-called audiophiles are very aware of. Having a proper seal of the earphone in your ear canal can dramatically affect bass response and the central ball diameter, tip length and material all impact the sound. Typically wider and shorter balls bring up the higher frequencies and the raw driver sound and narrower tips make the sound less bright or darker and hence allow more bass before the treble energy becomes too much. Finally, considering sound path, the material between the headphone driver and your ears can shape the sound and there are basically two options. Adding material typically tames an aggressive bright treble, like with a Superlux 668B, or a shorter tipped Etymotic MK5, or some of the crazier Chinese earphones that are very treble focused and where treble resolution seems to be equated with high fidelity. Conversely, for treble shy dark sounding headphones like the Cos Port Pro, removing a coin sized area of the earpad foam, the so called quarter mod, or paper filter in the case of the Sony MDRV150 can bring up the treble energy and create a much more live and engaging sound. Now for headphones, ear pad size and material also affect how close the driver is to your ear and how much of a seal is created in the chamber around each ear. Really all these things you can experiment with to determine the effect and appreciate the differences they make. So to try to summarize, the three low or no cost methods can allow you to better enjoy your music. Now some audiophiles may take issue arguing that the hi-fi signal path is compromised. 
However, every audio device is really a compromise. And if we see the purpose of audio equipment as being to emotionally move and create a connection with the listener, then why not? A further question arises of when to simply modify your headphones or earphones rather than invest in new ones. Now that brings up a bigger philosophical and spiritual question that would deserve a video of its own. I would suggest that these techniques work best when a headphone has what clinical calls a good fundamental technical performance of being able to resolve details and information but where there is some flaw with its frequency response that draws your attention in an undesirable way. We humans are always striving and aspiring for better and more, and I guess there is a pro and a con to that. Without pushing the boundaries, mankind will never advance. On the other hand, if we don't make time to smell the roses, so to speak, we will live an ever unsatisfied life. So folks, there you go. What do you think? Let everyone know in a comment below. And if you found this video useful, you can help others find it by liking or commenting or subscribing below. But for now, you all take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.